Greetings to all. Pope Francis once said, Let us love, not with words, but with deeds. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot understand Jesus. In His life, the presence of God's Spirit, whom we call the Holy Spirit, was manifested in a unique way. What does the Holy Spirit do in our lives? The Holy Spirit help, makes us receptive to God. He teaches us to pray and helps us to be there for others. I would like to explain this statement to you that God has calmed this whole world to prepare ourselves by repenting of our sins and praying for the Holy Spirit with a contrite heart and also for the whole world. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, we see His Spirit of love swept over the face of the waters in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. Saint Augustine calls the Holy Spirit the quiet guest of our soul. Anyone who wants to sense his presence must be quiet. Often this guest speaks very softly within us and with us. For instance, in the voice of our conscience or through the other interior or exterior promptings. When we look upon the life of Saint Francis of Assisi, we can see that he was a luxurious man who was living in worldly pleasures. But God chose him in a unique way to be his special instrument. When he was filled with the spirit of love, he renounced the world by tearing his clothes and by accepting God as his only Father and to do his holy will. On the Pentecost Sunday, the Holy Spirit descended upon the Apostles and on Mary in the form of fairy tongues. And after receiving the Holy Spirit, the Apostles preached the, wo preached the word of God with love and bore every persecutions for the love of Christ. Likewise, we can see a fire in the Old Testament where, while Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the form of a flame out of a bush. This burning bush was a fire of love, in which God calls Moses to save his people from, from the slavery of the Egyptians. And through Moses, God exhibits his divine love towards his people by taking them and feeding them and leading them to the promised land. Let us pray for a moment. O Lord, my Father, God of my life, protect us from evil desires. Keep us from being arrogant and help us to pray to the Holy Spirit with a contrite heart. Amen.